Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. After a bit of a low energy Monday and Tuesday, I've decided to ramp it up a little bit. Yeah, let's inject some fun stuff into our day. That's my plan. First though, I need to make coffee. Second, I need to do some work. I'm working all morning, but the afternoon and the evening is free. Free for us to choose something much more exciting to do. Let me crack on. I'll check back in with you later. I have finished work. Oh my goodness, that morning whizzed past. Mr. Warner, he's just informed me. He's taken me out, out on a Wednesday afternoon. Where are you taking me? We're going for an afternoon at the races. <gasps> Of the races? Oh, come on, let's go. So what made you think about going racing this afternoon, Mr. Warner? We've been talking about it for ages. On Radio 4, they, when they finished the news, they, they said today's racing top tips are free 10 at Newton Abbott. I would tell you which horse, but I'm not going to. Oh, are you going to bet on it? I've already bet on it, to be honest with <laughs> No! Yeah. Before I forgot what one it was. <laughs> and just in case the odds went a bit peaked on. Okay. Well, let's go. Horse racing this way. Oh, Glenn, it's all going on here. This is exciting. You actually have to cross the race course to get to the parking. Yeah, so nice. here we are. I got Glenn to upgrade from the general enclosure to the paddock enclosure. Here we go. First race. Now, we've got to agree on it. Puddles in the park, yeah? You wait here for the sausage baps and I'll go and put a bet on. Right, me and Glenn have put on a joint bet, number six. So this is exciting. They're off. Our horse is currently last. So easy bucks in second. Lovely hundred in third. Robin's bed is very narrow. Glenn, Glenn, where's our, where's our horse? Oh, we came second from last. The horse I suggested, because I liked it, because it was called Easy Buck, uh, won. But we didn't bet on that. I've decided to bet on my own horse this time. So I've put a fiver. It, it's not got three legs. If my horse wins, my return is £1,005. That's That was the odds. 200 to 1. So Mr Warner's saying my horse hasn't got a, got a leg to stand on. So I've just had a look in the book. And uh, apparently it's like it's first race. Glenn. Why did you bet on horse number one? Because it's my nan's name. Glenn, how's horse doing? Oh, third race in, we're hoping to change our luck. I'm still betting on all the outsiders though. It's absolutely great for people watching. I've bet on Scirocco's dream because Beth is dreaming of a Scirocco. And seven of us will leave the back straight in front by about three parts of a length of Scirocco's dream. Oh black my and yellow. goodness, and oh, my goodness. oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh it's going to be close, it's going to be close, oh. That was so close. My second. horse came in second, Number one. so close. Well, we were rubbish at that. We won twice, which was good. We've had a lovely time. That was the main thing. And we were never going to get rich with our £5 bets anyway. Well, I would have if my 200 to 1 had come in. It didn't. It didn't. We are heading back now, but I've got something else in mind. Rather than just heading straight back, I'm trying to persuade Mr. Warner that we go on to our next adventure. Oh. It might take a tad longer to get home than I was expecting, Mr. Warner. So we're back in Brixham and we're going to head straight round to the car park and go to Shulston to see what's going on there. All the flags are up, celebrating D-Day. We've come to the Shoal restaurant right next to the swimming pool. There's lots of brave kids jumping in there. It's so cold out here, like freezing. Oh! My like, goodness. Well, I've got my coat on, that's how cold it is. Glenn has got a polo shirt on, a jumper, jumper and a coat. And it's still cold. And we... It's oh a north goodness, easterly wind. It's a very cold wind. So, 
we went to the Shoal restaurant. I had seafood chowder, which was amazing. It was only a starter portion, but it was it was more than enough. Glenn had chicken burger and chips. He's not a big fish fan. The chowder was so good. The sauce tasted nice. Perfect. Yeah, we sat there. Outside. Outside, it was cold like so cold there's going to be like a community sing-along which i really wanted yeah. us to take part in i waited for a bit while they were setting up and i said to them i cannot i cannot wait any longer i am freezing the wind is so cold it's june june what is that about if you could feel my hands you'd be like oh they're freezing let's go back to the caravan i'm gonna get my jammers on and i'm gonna get my fleecy top on and i'm gonna just warm myself up come on let's go <laughs> 